Thank you. Hi, good, good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for the introduction. My name is Navid Qajar Nia, uh, and I'm a researcher at the Department of Physical Geography. Uh, my research field is uh, global hydrology and water resources and climate change, but today I'm going to talk about a game called cross-sectoral negotiation game for the Baltic Sea. And unlike the previous uh, presentations, mine is not research-based. It's uh, educational, actually, and I hope that it's easier to go through and a good uh, talk for the closing of today's intensive and interesting uh, presentations. So I will first uh, introduce the project, uh, uh, and then I will talk about the negotiation game. Uh, so this game is developed as part of a project called Changemakers, uh, startups for sustainable environment created by youngsters. This is an um, Interreg Central Baltic uh, EU uh, funded project uh, that aims to enhance sustainable development, cross-border collaboration and circular economy based entrepreneurship among students under the age of 18. So it's basically Mm, uh, a two-year project uh, in two rounds. Uh, we will play with, uh, we will work with 250 students, around 125 each year. Uh, students who are uh, uh, at uh, high school, like uh, uh, gymnasium or uh, what is it called in English, uh, vocational schools. Uh, from Finland, uh, Estonia, Latvia, Sweden, and Oland as part of uh, Finland. Uh, so from all these five different, let's say, uh, countries, the students will form cross-border international teams, and they are supposed to uh, be creative and innovative and uh, develop some, some startup mini companies. Uh, that uh, address uh, environmental challenges related to the Baltic Sea region. So this is an overview of the project. We start in September and end in around May. Uh, we start by uh, educating students about different topics such as circular economy, uh, cross-cultural communication skills. Then the students will meet in a boot camp this year, hopefully face-to-face. Uh, -face. Last year it was uh, online and they will uh, form their international teams. <coughs> then uh, they will uh, s continue with education like innovation management, entrepreneurship, prototyping, market research, pitching, etc. And in between, they will have their team meetings to, to uh, like brainstorm and come up with an idea uh, for the challenge that they are going to address within this project. And being inspire inspired by that, uh, TV show Dragons Den, when where uh, people go and, and uh, present their ideas in front of investors, they will do the same thing in a pitching for for their startup companies. Uh, so this year, for example, we have defined the ten challenges for the students. For example, challenge one: how to reduce fabric waste in textile industry or reduce inflow of marine litter from urban stormwater systems, or these two that are defined by uh, us in physical geography department, how to decrease food waste or how to make more sustainable choices. Uh, so these are basically challenges that the students uh, will, uh, will choose to focus on, and then they will make, uh, for example, two students from Sweden, two from Finland, etc., work on, uh, on these, uh, addressing these challenges. Uh, and, and each challenge will, will have a mentor, or each, or each team will have a mentor, and each challenge uh, several, several experts uh, from industry. For example, we have an expert from Sueco company uh, or uh, from a Stockholm University for, for the how to make more sustainable choice, choices challenge. But as part of the, the educational material that the students uh, get during this project, uh, we at the Stockholm University uh, were supposed to, to develop a game. And we came up with the idea of this game, the cross-sectoral uh, negotiation game for the Baltic Sea. And this is based on the serious gaming concepts. So this is basically designed for an educational purpose instead of pure entertainment. And it's supposed to, to address su sustainability and learning sustainability through creating a shared understanding among 
players. So, and, and the students, uh, our, our objective was that uh, students learn skills in presentation and communication of their point of view and active listening and understanding of others, uh, making strategies, negotiating, and how to find compromises, which is uh, critically important, and learn more about complex causes of eutrophication in the Baltic Sea. So the, the game is the, uh, uh, will be played with the, these five actors, uh, agriculture, fishery, environment, government, and industry. A group of 10 to 15 uh, students will play together, and two or two to three uh, students will represent each of these sectors. Uh, it's a, basically a role play, so they have to go to the role, and, and they define the strategies among their, their, their team of two to three, uh, and then they will uh, start negotiation, trading, and, and lobbying, which, which are like most. Uh, and then we have explanations for the students in the education, like in, in, the, in the game instruction and material for each role, uh, what, uh, what is the role about, and, and on what you want and what you don't want. So for example, an agricultural sector wants higher pr production and quality of crops, higher income, good water quality, and soil fertility, but, but they don't want restriction on the usage of fertilizer. They don't want to change their, uh, their habits, and also they don't want increasing fertilizer costs. Uh, we have a list of 10 solutions defined for and designed for the students, uh, uh, and, and they, they will basically negotiate on these 10 solutions, and each, each solution ha has a score uh, from minus two to plus two, which is different for each actor, uh, of course, uh, and then they will play. But we have an advanced version of the game as well, because this is a little bit simple. This is, this is basically designed for for students of age 15 to, to, to 18, but, but there is an advanced version in which students are not provided with any solution and because they have an understanding of the system and water quality problem and environmental challenges of the sea, so they can come up with solutions themselves. But for, for younger students, they needed some help. So we basically even w went further and uh, also provided uh, infographics and explanation about each solution and also expected effects and even some argumentation. So if somebody was needed some inspiration on what to say, for example, they could easily say, oh, we are not happy with this because uh, to change our practices or, or et cetera. But right based on my experience, they are really smart and they come up uh, inspired by these, uh, all this information, they come up with really brilliant uh, argumentations while playing. Uh, we also have uh, some, uh, some videos, like in, uh, in addition to the instruction uh, material, so on uh, YouTube for, for the general game and also each, each actor. The game takes ar around four hours and it has different phases from preparation to two t terms of negotiation. Uh, and, the, and the moderator gives the opportunity for students to first define their strategies, then go back and start negotiation, and then go back and revise their strategies if they couldn't come up with an agreement, and then even go and lobby, like in agriculture and, and environmental organization can lobby and convince government for a specific solution. And then in the end, game ends if all actors agree on at least three solutions or if the time is up. So we have basically played this game four times so far uh, uh, with uh, students uh, in this project, uh, with uh, students at the Stockholm University, students of a uh, vocational school, Varmdo Gymnasium in Stockholm, and somewhere else, uh, which I don't remember now. But uh, this one was, was the biggest one. We played with 120 students online because of the COVID. Hopefully this year we will play this face-to-face. Uh, -face. And it was an amazing experience. Actually, here are some uh, summary of the feedback that we got from students uh, on, for example, how much did you enjoy playing the game, scoring from one to four. Uh, how the game gave you uh, an understanding of the challenges to reach an agreement in the negotiation process or if the game helped you to better understand the negotiation process or if the game helped you to realize the importance of collaboration among sectors involved uh, in the Baltic Sea environmental problem or uh, others. So uh, overall it was um, 
satisfactory uh, feedback. And, and some interesting uh, comments from students, what did you most like about the game? Uh, one said that seeing how well people get into their role or or the chaos uh, in the negotiation, or uh, this one, I felt real, like we were important decision makers that needed to come up with a solution, like uh, keeping in mind the 16 or 17 year olds is saying that brings joy. Uh, and, and then what you disliked most about this game, and some of them once said uh, that some people just didn't vote for anything. Or, or, or the other actors are not cooperating with better solutions, or, or, or that the single person protesting can take the whole voting hostage. And, and that's interesting, for example, thinking of the Paris Agreement, that one single person took the whole agreement for hostage, I'm not saying his name, but it starts with Donald Trump. So, so basically, this, this one was the most... Uh, interesting one for me because uh, that was exactly what we wanted for students to experience. We wanted them to understand and practice and experience how difficult and challenging uh, a real negotiation can be, especially in a challenging uh, topic where people have different and conflicting interests. So uh, with this, thank you and feel free to contact us if, if you are interested in playing this game. <laughs> Questions? Hi. Um, I just want to say, first of all, I think it's a really great idea. I think that it's a really good help for, uh, you know, the youth to actually start thinking about this. And I think it's so much fun. And this is why I was wondering, are you going to actually advertise this game? Are you going to make it like a, an actual thing that people will have access to? Or is it just something that you do between the schools that you have decided and you keep for yourself? Because I think it's great. I think that any school should be able to do something like that. And if you have worked so hard to make something so good for, for young students to understand the truth and how mm. things work, I think you should think about making it more accessible to everyone. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yes, actually, we, are, uh, we don't want to keep it for ourselves. That's why I'm now yeah. uh, introducing it. Uh, about like publishing it uh, on we are thinking of more publication and so that we make it more free uh, freely available or or putting it somewhere online so that everybody can like go to a website or we haven't decided yet because it's recently developed uh, there are some there might be some issues about uh, like licensing because this was part of the that project i I'm, i don't know i haven't figured it out yet but uh, from what uh, from our concern and uh, we are happy to share it uh, so that more people can play it and definitely if you have an opportunity to play this game feel free to contact us yeah sure yeah everybody yeah further questions comments claire thanks um you it's on um, I think you said you'd only played it four times so yeah. far, but I was interested to know how many times did the time run out and how many times did they come to an agreement? Yeah, it was different bit among different teams, actually. I think when we played it with, with last time in this project, in that picture, one team couldn't come up with a... So it, we, 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 there were like 10 teams playing separately. One team couldn't come up with an agreement. One team, like, they were easy, very, very, they compromising a lot, so they choose a lot of many solutions, like six out of ten. Some teams, too, uh, it was different in some, uh, and that was beautiful because some teams were, some students were, as one of the comments, like, they were too much into their role, so some, like, more easygoing, so it was different. It, it depends to the students who are playing. But I think overall, uh, the, the opportunity to learn to and to experience this was, at least for us, watching them, uh, watching the chaos was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, further questions? And if not, thank you so much. Thank you. And with that, yes. Mm -hmm.